Brandon, just walk us through that fumble recovery and touchdown. Oh, man. Uh, we was looking towards um, the Akershire Stadium sign of uh, the defense, and I was just pursuing to the ball, like what Vase always teaches us. And then David Green uh, hit the ball out, and I seen it on the floor, and we always practice scoop and score in practice. So I just remember what we do in practice and just uh, seeing my blockers on the sideline and just uh, got an end zone, made a play. There were a few games where, you know, you guys were – not really creating as many turnovers, if any, and over the last couple of weeks, obviously the pick six is last week, and you know today you have the score. What does that say about this, the momentum you guys have been able to build, and what does that say about this end of the stretch of the season? Uh, it just shows who we are, what type of defense we are, and that it's finally clicking uh, this season. And it just, I'm just happy to be a part of it, and happy to let you guys and everybody else see how how well we can play as a defense. That play that they ran on the two point conversion was that shown on tape at all? Uh, talking about the trick play. Yeah. And we, um, our defense coaches do a great job of uh, preparing us for the game. So we, we see a lot of stuff that uh, you're not going to see in other teams that they think going to run on us. So uh, just the preparation throughout the week from our defense coaches is always great. So they were able to help, they were able to help us out on that play for sure. Right. I mean, last month, you guys in the fourth quarter were, you know, week by week kind of allowing a score for that third quarter lead you had to go away. As a veteran guy, to see you guys, you know, flipping the script and not only holding strong but making plays yeah. to build upon leads and secure wins, how proud does that make you as a leader of this defense? Uh, makes me overly proud because I know how much work the guys, my fellow teammates, put in day in and day out. So to finally see it all clicking and jamming well together is a great feeling. And it's an amazing feeling for sure. Brandon, they tried to use these twice in some deep passes today. Oh, they times you were able to go better. What did that feel? Whenever you would make those plays to stand up. Uh, it just boosts my confidence uh, mostly because it's probably the most action I've got all year. So just to finally be able to showcase my talent and um and just just make plays. And I I play with a great group of guys on defense though. Uh, uh, Eric Hallett, um, MJ Demonshire, like those guys that make me feel comfortable out there. Uh, Servasi Dennis was the quarterback. Kalaja Kendrick was the quarterback. So it all falls into play when we are here together. A, a lot of safeties out there. They're often the guys the last line of defense to help other people. So you and Eric, you're out there, out there in single coverage. You are the line of defense. Uh, uh, What's sure. that like in those moments when the ball's near and you're like, it's on you? Uh, playing this game, it's a great feeling. Like you always want to make a play. You always want to have fun, and making those plays is fun. And you can see it out there. Like we're like everybody is. As soon as Eric makes a play, I'm on his hat. I'm, I'm cheering him up. Right. So if I see him in the backfield, I'll come back from 30, 20 yards deep just to celebrate with him. Kalaja Kansas, uh, Kalaja Kansas too as well. But just. It just feels great playing out there. Just the game of football is fun, and I'll, I'm glad we got the win today for sure. You have uh, ten defensive touchdowns in the past two seasons. I mean, what's what's the, what goes into that, and what allows you guys to be so successful there? Uh, like I said, Coach Randy Bates, um, he just harps on turnover, turnovers, create game-changing plays in the game because you never know when you're going to need those uh, in a defense. And it's also good to score on defense. It's fun to do that. Like you said, the guys flying around, eleven hats flying around, hungry dogs. It's, it's, a, it's a great sight to see, for sure. Brandon, I see you have the Virginia shirt on after what happened last week. How were you guys able to kind of put that behind you? And obviously, you have a heavy heart on it, but to be able to focus on the game knowing about what just happened there. Yes, sir, we do have a heavy heart. Um, just, just throughout the week, um, we set out, we, set, we were praying for the University of Virginia all week. And just and we just this week, we just started to tell, tell each other how much we love them, how much we appreciate them, because you never know. Like, you never know when it's your last day. And, um, yeah, like you said, we just keep kept, kept, kept them in our prayers, and we just hope that the University of Virginia is, will, will be well, for sure. Brandon, you've played with Eric, Eric Walk today for Senior Day. You've played with him for the last couple of years. You guys say you, you know, how much you've enjoyed playing with each other. I remember you talking to you guys both on Media Day. Yeah. Um, what can you What can you say about playing with him, and you know, uh, <coughs> possibly you know, moving on to he's, him moving on and you moving on here, maybe with without him. Uh, Eric, Eric Hallett, man, that's that's my guy. That's my right hand. Like you can, if you watch us on the field, I can look over and like we won't even signal each other. We just know like what the play is, what each other got. Like it's like Ning and Gang out there. So uh, he just makes me feel comfortable uh, every day, every week in practice, even in practice. He tell me what he getting up, and I tell him I'm getting on my side, and we just we just bounce off each other so well. Uh, I'm grateful to play with Eric for sure. Any final? Thank you very much. Appreciate you guys.